We're going to go through the Pythagorean theorem assessment practice test. I'm going to go these uh, problem by problem with a short explanation on each uh, first problem uh, to find the missing side. Whenever we have a right triangle, the only time it works uh, to find a missing side if we have a right triangle is we use the Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so then we just need to make sure we identify what a and b are. Remember that those are the legs. In fact, this right triangle is upside down a little bit, so that right there is the L, which means it's telling us where the legs are. So one of the legs is x, and one of the legs is 8 inches, and that makes this right here the hypotenuse, which is c. Uh, I always like to have uh, my a be my unknown so that I can call this x squared. You can leave it as a squared if you want. And that's x squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. And so uh, just to square these out, you know, those are just times table problems really. And we've done this one a few times. Uh, when we take away 64, we're trying to get x by itself because x is a leg. If I was looking for c, I wouldn't have to do this step. But x squared equals 36. And your last step is to take the square root of both sides, and the square root of x squared is x is 6. So the missing side is uh, 6 inches. And let's take a look at this one here. Uh, it's the same problem, but uh, there's your right angle. This time, though, we're looking for a different leg. You know, this, this is a and this is b. And I don't know C because that's the hypotenuse. And we know that it's the hypotenuse because it's the longest side. It's farthest away from the 90 degree angle. And so we'll go ahead. We always want to show our steps and we want to show our formula. That's just good practice. Uh, A squared B 17 squared plus 9 squared equals C squared. So 17 times 17 is 289 plus uh, 81 equals c squared. And so we're going to add these two up because we're just going to combine those. They're on the same uh, side. That is 370 equals c squared. And now it's time to just go to our calculator. We're not going to mess around with trying to estimate that. It's just a big number. Uh, so we're going to go square root of 370. So we'll just come over here and uh, we'll just type in the the square root button real quick and we'll hit 370 and I don't know why that's coming up the square root of 370 is 19.23 uh, and so we uh, let me go ahead and put that down so 19.23 but we're going to round it off just to the nearest tenth which is to the two and that three isn't big enough so we're just going to leave it alone so in this case c is 19.23 feet. So let's go take a look. There's a ladder problem uh, on your assessment and uh, whenever they tell us how long, it says if the ladder is 12 feet long, they're telling us how long the ladder is, which means uh, that's the ladder right there. So the ladder is 12 feet long and so it goes there and you can see the wall. The wall makes a 90 degree angle. And so the ladder is C. It's not, not the leg. It's not an A or a B. Uh, but it tells us that the ladder must be placed so that the bottom of the ladder is four feet away. Well, this is the bottom of the ladder. So that side right there is going to be four feet because it needs to be four feet from the wall. And the question is, how high up the wall? Well, that's this side right here. I don't know it. So that's my X. And so I'm going to let this one be A and this leg down here be B. And then there's C is my 12. So we always want to have our formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's always the first step. Um, a squared is going to be unknown. I'll just leave it as a this time. Uh, plus 4 squared equals 12 squared. And so we get a squared plus 16 equals 144. And I'm going to go ahead and take away the 16 because i got to solve for the leg. So subtract that away. And we get a squared equals 128. And our last step is to take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root there and I'll take the square root there. So we need to figure out what this is. It's not a, it's not a rational number. It's going to be a long decimal. So I'll move this out of the way. Let me, let me get that out of there. And let's take the square root of, what was it, 128. So 
I will type that in there, 128, and that gets me 11.313. So 11.31, and I don't need those decimals. I just need this one, and I need to look at that one to see if it's big enough. It's not, so it's just going to be 11.3. So this thing, well, this ladder will reach 11.3 feet up the wall, and that's how high the ladder will reach. Let's go take a look at the distance problem on number four. Uh, and if you have a graph, you always want to draw, uh, draw right triangles. So we're going to count across and then we're going to count up. And that's how we do this problem. So I'm looking for that distance right there. And that well, whenever we use the distance formula, we're almost always looking for a C. So A and B, I can just count. Um, B, in fact, uh, from there to there is two units, right? It starts at, at the B and I go down two. And then from A, uh, it's going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So A is seven and B is two. So when we go A squared plus B squared equals C squared, that's gonna be a seven squared plus two squared equals C squared, right? We're trying to find this distance here between A and B on the graph and seven squared is 49 plus two squared is four. And uh, so that means that C squared is 53. If I add those two up, and we'll take the square root of that, it's a little bit more than 7. It's a little bit less than 8. So I will... Uh, square root of 53. A little editing window keeps popping up. 7.28. And so, again, we only need one decimal this time for this test, but that right there is more than... It's, more, it's 5 or more. So we're going to change that to a 3. So the distance between A and B on this particular problem is 7.3. I guess we'll just call them units because it's on a graph and I don't have inches or anything like that. Uh, let's take a look. This gate problem, um, this gate problem, this right here tells us how tall the gate is. Down here, this tells us how wide the gate is. And this right here is this diagonal brace. And you know, whenever we have a diagonal, that's always going to be the slanty thing, and that's always going to be a C. Um, and, of course, a gate isn't going to really work well if it's not a right angle. So we'd like the gate to be square. And so it has right angles. And it says that uh, the gate is 5 feet wide and 6 feet tall. So we need to kind of go identify those wides, 5 feet wide. So this is going to be 5 feet, and it's 6 feet tall. So I'll, I'll just put that over here on this side. That is 6 feet tall. And the question is, how long will the brace be? Well, the brace is C, and I don't know. I'm going to find it. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And uh, I'm going to let this one, I'll just look, let A be 6. So 6 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared, and that's 36 plus 25 equals C squared. And we add those up, and you're going to get uh, 61 equals c squared. And, of course, last step is just take the square root of both sides. And so c is the square root of 61, which is a little bit less than 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. So let's go ahead and type in the square root of 61. We get 7.81. And so that's what I have here is 7.81, and that 1 is not big enough to round up the 8. So it's just 7.8 feet. That's how long the brace is to go across this gate. Now, let's take a look at this problem. Sheila is building a triangular shaped sandbox. And look at the question. Will it be, probably didn't want to draw a line through it. Will the sandbox be in the shape of a right triangle? And what we're asking is, is A squared plus B squared equal to C squared? If it's a yes, then it's a right triangle, and if it's a no, then it's not. And the next thing we need to do is identify which is the longest piece. And I have an 8 foot and 11 foot, and then the 14 foot is the long one because that's bigger than 8 and 11. So that's my C, 14 squared. So 8 and 11 can be my A and my B, but 14 has to be my C. Uh, 8 squared is 64, and 11 squared is 121, and 14 times 14 is 196. So we need to know if these two things are equal to each other, and I'm going to go ahead and just put the 64 down there and add them up, because, of course, they're on the same side. 
uh, that is 185, which is not equal to 196. So this is not going to be a right triangle because those two things aren't equal. A squared plus B squared equals C squared is a nope, it is not. So let's take a look at the very last problem here and uh, let's try and keep this to under 10 uh, minutes long. So this is about uh, a plumber installing a sprinkler system and we're trying to get our water line. We need to make a pipe that gets from the water source out there to the sprinkler and we need to know how long that pipe is. And you could take a look that if I were to draw a triangle, this right here is a C, it's how long that is. And so uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how far apart these legs are on this triangle. And it's really about the distance formula. So we practiced this in class and we practiced a few problems on this without a graph. And you can see this time I don't have a graph. So here's what we need to know. We need to know how far apart the X's are and you can see that uh, I have X, uh, the first numbers here, the first one is a two and the other one is a 27. So we're gonna subtract those. We're gonna take 27 and minus two because we need to figure out how far apart the X's are. And then we need to do the same thing for the Y's, uh, 31 and one. And remember that the distance formula says you take those two things and you add them up after you square them. So we're gonna need some calculator work. And once we add those up, we take the big square root. So it's really just the Pythagorean theorem. If you wanted to draw this as a triangle, uh, this uh, water source was over two, and this is over 27, which makes this 25. And that's what we get when we go 27, take away two, we get 25 squared plus, and then of course this one is up one, and then the rest of this is up 31. So the difference between one and 31 is 30. So 31 take away one is, um, I, I don't really need that to be in a parentheses. I'm just gonna put 30 squared. And of course, we're gonna take the square root of those two things. And you can just type that into your calculator. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the calculator up and I'm gonna drag it over so you can see what that looks like. Um, so I'm gonna hit clear and I'm gonna just put a big square root there. And I got 25 squared. That was the difference in the x's and then plus 30 squared that was the difference in the y's and you can see that the distance is 39.05 so uh, 39.05 is the distance for that pipe and of course we're going to take that and we're going to take this zero and we're going to round it up to a one because the five is bigger so the distance for the pipe is 39.1 feet and that's it